Hello farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land. Month of April is here and I am planting sorghum in our three fields over here. Already got the other two done. So now I just got this field to do and I'll be done planting for the season. Uh, behind me, the cotton fields are growing already. Uh, we got little cotton stems sticking out of the ground so I'm excited to see how that comes out in October. I think it's October is when we'll be able to harvest the cotton. Um, being April, I also just check on the price of clothing because April is supposed to be the best month for clothing. And the price is $10,500, so looking forward to that next season already. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. we got another whole year before we get that far and a lot still to do. Um, today, well, planting sorghum was our priority. And yeah, we're going to get that in, no problem. Uh, luckily for me, when I hook up to our drill... I had seed and fertilizer already in it, so I kind of topped it off with what I had in the shed. I still got one bag of seed and a couple things of fertilizer, so I think I'm going to be all set. Not having to buy any more product today. Um, but speaking of product, also after we get done with this, we're going to go ahead and hook up our auto loading trailer. But I'm not going to use the auto loader. I am going to put the uh, front end loader on the T6. We're going to load up tomatoes and bring the tomatoes down. When I last checked down to the farm shop, I think the tomatoes were going for like $5.30, which is a pretty decent price. So we're going to go ahead and sell tomatoes, bring some cash in. And uh, then probably things, I don't know if it's going to be the last thing we do, but I need to go up and take care of the sheep. Got to grab up the water tanker and go up and give the sheep some water because they require some. So that's where we stand currently. Uh, as for the store, I woke up in April, slowly opened my eyes. And the McCormick tractor was not in there. So the only thing that got me upset, and one of them's already sold, there were two items, the exact same item in the shop for sale uh, in the used section. And it was a Fent Power... What's that called? Uh, no, that, no, wrong button. Uh, this one here. Power Flow. There were two of these in here. Now, one's been sold, apparently. Uh, this one's 31 months, I think. Uh, where does it say? 31 months of usage. Yep, 31 months. And I think the other one was at 17 months. I'm like, really? I got four items for sale, and two of them are, are the same one. Uh, say, well, you know what I'm saying. The same item. So that kind of kind of sucked a little bit. I mean, the things I would really would like to see in there would be the McCormick tractor that we used. But to be honest, if another tractor of the same quality came up, and it was used, and I could buy it for half price. Probably going to go ahead and get that one. And I'll get the McCormick one later on. Uh, just because I would like to have a second tractor on the farm so I can get Frank working. Especially when the fall comes and we start harvesting, I can get Frank like plowing while I'm harvesting or something like that. Uh, but yeah, a second tractor with about 300-ish horsepower would be really, really good. Um, the other things I'm looking forward to getting here on the farm, which, well, there's actually a lot of things. Uh, but I guess a fertilizer spreader would be the next thing because we're, I think we're going to be pretty much done getting the chopped straw on the field. Um, I will probably have to start bailing that up because I'm thinking at the end of the season, like I mentioned before, about getting the cow barn down and getting the cows up and going. I think we can afford that. Um, so we're going to need straw. So no sense of chopping the straw anymore. We'll have to bail that on up. Uh, but we'll need straw, hay silage, all that good stuff to give them good TMR, so uh, no more chopped straw mod, well chopped straw mod will still be there, but I'm not going to chop straw if I need it for the cows, right? So um, a baler would be nice, but that's not my priority now, but a fertilizer spreader would be nice uh, Let's see, I mentioned the tractor fertilizer spreader uh, and I'll kind of stop there for now so those are the two things I'm looking forward to. But if they come up for sale, they do. If they don't, it's not like I need them currently right now, but I'm not going to pass them up either. Um, I was over at the furniture shop this morning as well and unloaded because our storage was getting kind of full. And currently we got pretty close to 60,000 liters of furniture. And with a couple more months to go, I'm guessing we're going to get up to probably close to 80,000 liters of furniture. So, if it sells for $2,200 per, we're looking at a good $160,000 to $180,000 worth of furniture to sell uh, in a couple months, which would be very, very nice on the income. Very, very nice. 
So if nothing comes up used, I may just have to buy it brand new, I suppose, instead of just waiting for it. So we might have a second tractor this year. Because, like, a, you know, I really would like to have a second tractor just so I can get Frank, you know, plowing a field while we're harvesting. And then maybe he can pick up the rocks as well. Actually, no, I can't have him pick up the rocks because uh, apparently it's not just course play, but the worker does not know when the rock picker is full and just keeps on going around it. It, it collects them, but it doesn't add to the total as they're collecting, which kind of sucks. So yesterday, using that McCormick tractor was really nice with the planter. Um, I was actually shocked that we got all those fields done in less than an hour. Just barely, but we got it done in an hour, so no additional uh, fees on that. It didn't really cost us too much. Uh, uh, hopefully it was worth it, uh, leasing that tractor. Um, since I only paid the one one hour fee of twelve thousand, I'm not sure how it would award down the T6. But if the T6 wore all the way down, I would have to repair it for nine thousand. So who knows? And then, like I said, if the McCormick comes up for sale and get in this half off, then it was well worth it. But I'm pretty sure it's going to have more than one hour on it. Yep, so I'm not going to need any more seed or fertilizer today, so that's a big bonus. No more spending fees there. The only thing about that planter I used yesterday would be that the field has to be cultivated before we plant with it. That's about the only downfall, but it's not that big of a deal. We can always find a way around that. I guess it all depends on how this cotton harvest goes this year. If it goes really, really, really well, who knows? I may play at cotton again. But I'm trying to mix up what we plant a little bit. I don't want to keep uh, repeating ourselves every season. I kind of want to do like a crop rotation kind of a thing. So next year we might go back to a cereal crop. And then after that, who knows? But I do want to get some sunflowers and that kind of stuff going so I can put some bees down and start collecting some honey. Because I was looking at production buildings before I started recording kind of what they kind of needed. Uh, a cereal factory I was kind of interested in, but then I didn't realize uh, how much I needed for the cereal factory. Yeah, I need raisins. I think I need, I think I need honey. So things like that. That's when I stopped looking at the production buildings. I said, like, I need to stay focused. We got to work on the tailor shop and the fabric shop this season. And then, of course, it might be cows and then on to dairy. All right, so I didn't take too long getting those three fields planted. So we'll rinse off our drill. And we'll go over and repair that. How much is going to cost to repair the drill today? Uh, 230 bucks. Am I close to 230 bucks? I was relatively close, ten dollars. Okay, uh, but the T6 already 358. Oh, well. 10 bucks to repair the drill, go figure. Uh, but you know, let's not complain about that. Now let's go park up the drill, because that's done for the season. Unless I plant in the fall, but I'm not sure if I'll have time to by the, for how late the harvest is on it. Well, I think the sorghum actually harvests kind of early, so I might be able to get wheat back into there this season. So maybe I'm not doing it this year. Attach that, now that. All right, let's get our pallet forks. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, I'll leave that for just a second. Let's grab the water tanker and I'll go up and take care of the sheep. Just to get that off my mind because the sheep are getting awfully low on water. And not close enough, back up a little more.
Um, looks like I got to get water. I don't really have a whole lot in here. So instead of just going with some water in, let's stop at the greenhouse. And we'll top off what the greenhouse needs. Now originally, because I'm going to take this path here, I was going to make the road going along here. And I still may do that from the farm out to the main road. I'm not sure if I like going down to the sawmill and kind of cutting back as far as I am. So I might go ahead and make myself a road out this way. Going out to the water tower to top off on water. And then, like I said, we'll go sell some tomatoes and bring in a little bit of cash. Actually, the water tower is over here. I can still picture when I come over here to the water tower. I can still picture the farm setup I had in in the 19 series. Um, can I turn that? Why is that not... Uh... Oh, because I'm hitting R. I'm so used to hitting R. It's actually, for me, left mouse button. Uh, hop back into here. And now I hit R to top off the water tanker free of charge because, well, we own the water. So that's all ours. I wonder where that water comes from. Underground stream, maybe? Have no idea. Not a clue. Uh, remember back in 19, uh, I think uh, one of the horses I had uh, took me for a swim in the, in the, in the water. I don't remember if that was no name that took me for a swim or... Could have been no name. I think the only horse I rode around was no name. Alright, so the sheep are not going to take this much water. But we'll top them off first and then go back to the greenhouse and put more in there if I can. And then we'll take the tomatoes down to be sold. But you probably saw the cotton field right here. All the little cotton stalks growing on up. But this season's actually going better than I thought it was when I originally was playing cotton. I was like, oh, we're going to need this much cash. I'm like, are we going to be able to afford to do that? And I said, I think we'll be able to just be able to, be able to afford to do so. And, yeah, we're going to be... It's no problem with the money that we have to be able to lease the cotton module harvester. Although we still got to put down the two buildings for 160000 But by the time we sell the furniture in July... I, I, the one thing I'm not used to is having money in the bank account. I like spending it, uh, buying bigger equipment. It's like the sheep are running down, think I'm going to give them some food. You guys got food. But the water, on the other hand, you're a little shy on that. There we go. Now I get the trigger. Well, they took a little bit more than I thought they would. So hopefully in about four more months, I think, we'll have 16 sheep instead of just eight. And then every few months, or every six months, we'll get more and more sheep. And eventually more and more wool. Oh, um... Someone did mention on a comment they saw on Reddit where someone did a test about the repair system, if you will. And apparently once a vehicle, equipment, tractor, what have you, reaches 50 hours, which we have on the T6, uh, it won't wear down any faster. So it's almost like once you hit 50 hours, uh, the, the wear down rate or repair status, if you will, won't increase anymore of how fast it wears down. So... Uh, we peaked out the T6, apparently, apparently, um, something that they just, they just saw on the internet that someone did a test on it. I can't confirm or, or, or anything about that, but uh, take it as you will. And at this point, I don't think it's even worth trading in the T6 for what little money I'm going to get for it. Um, you know, unless it's a piece of equipment that I'm not using at all, 
then I'd sell it, but you know, we're using the T6 quite often because it's our only tractor. All right, so hopefully we got that. Um, yes, we do. Now we're going to grab our unloading trailer, but we're going to do it manually today. Because not much to do on the farm other than what we're doing. The only production building we got going right now is the greenhouse and the furniture shop. So, and those are those are good to go. We just topped off the water in the greenhouse, and the furniture shop still has a decent amount of planks ready to go. Although it probably wouldn't hurt to get the sawmill up and going again. Uh, maybe next month, or maybe next thing I do could be cutting down some trees. I kind of want to find a place where I'm going to put the cow barn. Um, originally, I thought I was going to have it here, but yeah, I think I want to kind of have, have the farm spread out. have a couple of farms around the map. So if everything clumped together, I did not park the trailer actually in a really good spot here. Or at least the angle is not correct for me. And the first one goes off like a charm. <laughs> so there, there's number one. And that's where power tools will come in handy. It looks like it was sliding off really good. And then, um, yeah, I may have angled the forks too much and the game didn't like it. Some days it goes really good with the pallets and then other days not so much. Also, somebody did ask, why don't I buy the lime down at the store? Um, I guess we can call it from the silo, where we can buy anything from, because it's cheaper. And that's just not the route. Uh, I mean, yes, it should be cheaper. That's one thing Alien Jim does... Uh, for most of his maps, and it, I, I kind of like the idea of it. Um, it's like, but that's one of those things, it's not for everyone. So, yeah, I'm not going to buy the lime cheap when we can go ahead and make it ourselves. And feel free to get the lime down there. It should be cheaper than what you get in the store. Same thing could be said for the fertilizer. And most of the products that come out of there. It's getting the pallets to come off on the trailer sometimes. You gotta get the forks just right in order for it to slide off. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm good at it because we all know I'm not. Push that one on there and then go. Alright, I had a lot more tomatoes than I thought I did because they keep spawning. But that's fine by me. And the more we get, that just means the more we get to sell. And the more money we get. more pallets and we'll be all set to take on off down to the farm shop I think I said it's where they need to go 
as I get more pallets on here. Practice makes perfect is what they say, but then they always say no one's perfect either, so I don't know. But the more I do, it seems like it just gets easier as I go along. And I don't want to use the auto loader just every time just because we have it, although it is nice to have. So like when I go to sell the furniture in a couple months, I definitely will be because I'm not going to be loading up, you know, 60 to 80 pallets or whatever. Well, we already got 60 pallets. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to load up like 70 or 80 pallets of furniture one by one year. Last one can go right on top. Oh, where else is it going to go? <laughs> That's kind of a kind of obvious statement I just made there. It's going to go on top. No, you thought I was going to put it on the bottom, huh? Nope, nope, nope. See, you're almost off. And then... I lower it just a, a little bit. And I get stuck on the other pallets. As long as it doesn't go flying again. Alright, uh, where am I going with this here? Tomatoes, uh, 526 at the farm shop. So let's head on down to the farm shop and get, uh, I don't even know how much, how many liters do I got in here? Uh, six and a half? Six and a half? Six and a half. Uh, so we're going to get... 3,025? Is that correct? I hope so. Now, the one thing I'm not sure why Farming Simulator did this from 19 to 22, but I don't see anywhere in the greenhouse where we can put manure into it and get a bonus yield. Uh, usually, in previous versions, uh, on the base game anyways, you put down a greenhouse, you put water into it, you got whatever crop greenhouse you put down and if you put manure in there yeah you get like a little bit of a bonus uh, that is a mod i do believe in 22 where you can get a modded greenhouses uh that are that way but i wonder why they took away the manure part of the greenhouses why they why they did that i did say 3250 is that what i said or that, i forgot what i said i think that's what i said am i, am I gonna be close hopefully i'm, I'm close Uh, 3,423 is what we got out of it. Uh, it's pretty darn good. So as I was mentioning before, um, someone said, why don't I come down here and buy lime and fertilizer because it's cheaper. And you can kind of figure that out by going into here. Uh, there's lime. So yeah, you can, you can buy lime for, I, I don't know what the $2 is. Is that $2 on, is that $2 a liter? That can't be right. Because that'd be two thousand dollars for a thousand liters. That's not right. So I have no idea <laughs> what that uh, is selling for, uh, or what you buy it for. Have no, not a clue. And of course, you can buy a solid fertilizer. Let's see, at four hundred. So is it four hundred per four hundred per a thousand liters? That would be a lot cheaper. A lot, lot cheaper. That's what I do like about Alien Jim's maps. He'll put something down like that. So if you, if you really want to save money, uh, you can do that kind of stuff. Or if you really wanted to, you could buy probably the fertilizer there and sell fertilizer maybe back at the shop and make money. Wait, can, can we do that in this map? Uh, no, no one buys solid fertilizer. I'm just trying to go on down and see if there's any buy sells. And it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look he did that in this map currently. All right. Well, either way, um, let's go back to the shop. We'll drop off the trailer. Uh, we'll fix the T6. Uh, we'll park it on up. And I think we'll just kind of skip the day because there's nothing else really to do other than I could go out and cut some trees down. Uh, but maybe we'll do that. 
uh, in May, but we'll at least sleep through the night, wake up in the morning, see if the shop has anything good for sale. Who knows, they might have something in there. All right, with everything finally detached, let's go ahead and repair our T6 for 800. <laughs> Seems like it goes up that fast. Uh, all right, 723. Paint condition is apparently extremely terrible, but it looks all right to me. I'll back on up and we'll give it a good quick rinse because it's not that dirty. Actually, I could actually park it in the shed and wash it right there. So I have a decent amount of fertilizer left, and I have one bag of seed left, plus whatever is in the drill. Gently wash it so nothing, you don't want to get too close and have the power washer take the paint off. All right, so currently, let me just double check the store before we speed up time. So this is what's for sale today. Um, yeah, we got ourselves a disc harrow. And of course, we got ourselves a planter, which is kind of narrow at three meters. And of course, we got the power flow, one of two that they had for sale in the past 24 hours. Uh, what I usually do, if I'm ending my day like in the morning, I will fast forward it to about three or four o'clock in the afternoon just in case... I don't know if I, I think items stay on there for about 20 hours, 24 hours ish. But I just want to go in and just sleep until 8 o'clock tomorrow because something may come and go and I may miss it. So I just want to be sure. We'll, we'll speed up till, like I said, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And double check and then we'll head to bed. And then when March, yeah, when March. Uh, I'm not going back in time. Uh, when May comes around. Uh, we'll just have a quick look to see what we're going to be doing next episode. Like I said, could be cutting down some trees. I don't think our grass field is going to be grown tall enough just yet. So, yeah, probably getting some trees over to the lumber mill or sawmill. And then maybe fast forward until June, which we can then cut the grass and start thinking about selling some furniture soon. Very, very soon. All right, let's slow it down to there. That's good. Um, okay, so what else do we got here? Well, we got a couple more things. Uh, we got a cultivator here, a, th a six meter wide, and the coon nine meter wide? Uh, 14.7. Okay, not even close. Um, that is something I could probably be getting, but not right now. Uh, maybe next season. So, yeah, let's just go ahead. Uh, let me just double check on a couple things. I mean, uh, the chickens should be fine. Yeah, the chickens are fine. And the sheep are fine. They're getting a little bit low on the grass. Well, not a little bit low. Still about 40%. Let's go ahead and call it a day and wake up at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Yep, and I sleep with my door open in the cabin with that thing hauling in the background. So loan interest is 333. Property is 335 now. And production cost is 36. So I'm spending still about $1,000 a night or a month on all this stuff. Oh, look at that. Our sorghum is already growing nicely. That's green everywhere. Cotton still looks the same. Uh, let's go over here and see what the grass field's up to. And I think the grass field's going to have grown a little bit, but not as much as we're going to need it to. So probably be cutting down some trees next episode. Yeah, this needs another month. Another month and it'll be ready. I think. Yeah, one more month. It's not it's not fully grown yet. Not fully grown. Not too bad. All right, the store. Okay, well, the store has got nothing new in it. Uh, pretty much the last two items that popped up yesterday afternoon are still in there. Well, I guess uh, <laughs> we're all set for today. Um, we have got to take care of some eggs. The greenhouse made a couple pallets, I'm sure. And I'm sure the furniture shop is doing... Okay, actually, how much is left in that furniture shop? I mean, are we getting kind of, are we getting low at all? 20,000 liters of planks, that's still, that's like a couple months worth. Um, but yeah, I think next episode, whoop, had it there for a second. Yeah, we'll get the old chainsaw out. And we'll zip down some trees, load them on up into, uh, I'm about to lower that down. So I can make sure I can put the logs in there. And keep bringing them over to the sawmill. 
There are some trees I know I gotta cut. Uh, some over here. A couple of them here that are kind of in the way. Uh, one up by the sheep barn or pasture that's in the way. But uh, we'll mainly be cutting down some of the bigger trees around here. Yeah, so originally <laughs> I was going to put the sheep right here. And now we're not doing that. And I was going to put the cows over here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll cut down more trees to see if I want to put the cows over here. I may or may not. Uh, you know me. I'll change my, my, my plan slash ideas over and over again. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in no man's land. But until then, have a good one.